All right, okay. We're gonna go ahead and paint this little fella. Oh. Got all our tools here. I'm sorry, I, <coughs> I'm living in this little apartment still. Um, I'm working on my house and uh, but my mother right now even if I finish my house my mother is not in good shape at all uh, she's getting dementia Alzheimer's and so somebody's gonna have to be with her all the time so my brother and I are sort of uh, doing it together so We'll see. I'm living upstairs now in an apartment, so we'll see what comes of it. We'll just see what Jesus has and the good Lord has for us. And, all right, let's go ahead and paint this little guy. Uh, all right, let's go with a little. Let's go with a little black on the shoes. I like I like the shoes to be black. I always have. La -dee -dee. La -da -da. Now we're going to do a lot of these little three inch figures out of a block of wood for you. We're going to do different kinds. Now, I love to carve. I hate to paint. <laughs> I, I really do. I don't. I don't care to paint. I, I'm not a painting type of person. But it's got to be done. So I understand that. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and well, let's see coveralls. What do we want for the coveralls? Uh, I think a burnt umber. A dark, dark burnt umber would be very, very good for the coveralls. For our little, I'm going to call him a wood chopper. Now, burnt umber is almost like a black in a way. It's, it's very, very strong. So I, I kind of mix it pretty good with water. So it's not too strong because I do want my wood to show through. I do. A lot of people, they don't really worry about it, but I do want my wood to show through. And I enjoy doing it. Yeah, uh, my mother is developing signs of Alzheimer's and dementia. One of the big signs that terrible things about when they start developing it is they try to deny that they're developing it. But the doctor, it was really funny. And it's a terrible disease. It is. It's uh, very difficult to deal with her on that basis but we had not had her diagnosed and she was having a skin cancer taken off and one of the nurses took us aside and she, she said how long has your mother had dementia or Alzheimer's and we said well we've never diagnosed her as such she's 92 though you have to realize and the lady said, well, I've worked with patients all my life, and 
your mother definitely has signs of it. So, y'all just pray for us. This is another thing we're going through right now with her and but at 92, I can certainly understand why she has it. Because that's a lot of people get at a lot younger age. And I think more, it's more, the lady said she thinks it's more a form of dementia than it is necessarily Alzheimer's because of her age. But, uh, all right. Used a little burn umber for my uh, overalls. All right, now let's find a let's find something for the uh, let's find something for the uh, 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 come on, Gene. Think, think. I may be having two. <laughs> <laughs> I may be having Alzheimer's too. I'm not laughing at it, folks. I'm just saying. Uh, sometimes I wonder about myself. All right. What we're going to do is, uh, well, I want to figure out what to, to paint the clothes with. In other words, you know that you have your overalls and then you have the clothes underneath. I'm going to go with this uh, this red. This, uh, it's a, it's kind of a rust red, is what it is. It's not a red red. I mean, it's not a, a uh, and I mix that up pretty, pretty heavy too. I, uh, because I know reds are very dominating colors. Need to be careful with them, not to go too strong on them. As I say, a lot of people they're they're heavy on their painting. I am not. I I I, I like the wood to show through. Use a lot of water. I don't want uh Okay. There we go. All right. Let's see. What can we do for the hat? Let's see. My head's a little bit big on this. Uh, I, I wish I had cut my head down just a little bit on this one. Huh? But it's easy caricature, so it's not realistic type thing. So it's not really all that... that uh, that bad. I'm, I'm gonna use a gray on my hat. I'm gonna use a gray color. I like gray color. It's sort of a drab color, but it's also, I think it's a pretty color. And I go back over it with the the wash. Now, if I could just carve and not paint, be good. But I like my figures painted. I, I like the way they look when they get painted. So I just don't like the paint. I'm just not a crazy about it.
Gray is sort of a, a neutral color. It's not a real strong color, as we may say. When I say strong, I mean the fact that uh, you got to be careful with it because it will cover up just about everything that you have there. All right. Next, let's see. Let's go ahead and go with our flesh tone. Using the small brush. Careful in here. All right, we'll go with a little hand over here. And the hand here. Okay. You have no problem with eyes on this thing, so. Now, let's go with a Let's go with a brown for the the hair and the mustache. Now, but burn umber is a lot different than brown. Burn umber is a is a real strong almost like a black color. We don't have to worry about the eyes, so we're not going to worry about those. We don't have to worry about the eyes here. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go with the mustache. go. Oops. Go with the mustache a little bit more over here. For my eyes. Really, really having. Got to go back to the eye doctor. I need to wear one of those, uh, probably wear one of those uh, things for my eyes. Ain't a fine type glasses. Using that same brown to go ahead and do the handle of my my uh, okay. A little oops. Okay. And let's go ahead and go with uh, let's see on the handle. I want it let's just do a little I tell you what we're gonna do on the handle. We're gonna go with a little gray and 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 back up with a little uh, not I mean not the handle but the the head of the axe. We're gonna go with a little gray on there, 
And then we're going to come back with a black. And then we're going to come back with a little black over it. A light, uh, a black that is really watered down, where it doesn't just cover it, but it enhances it. There we go. Okay, now when the flesh is dry, once again I've told you I go over it with a with that rustic red. Kind of get and then after it's all over, I do a brown wash all over it, in other words. Now it's gonna take just a little time the the uh for the uh flesh to dry. So you can't do that until after it's dried. If you do, then then uh, you have problems. It, it won't mix right, and all that other stuff. So we'll I'll do that later after it dries, and uh, then I'll show you the finished product. Okay. Now let me show you something here. Oh. Let me grab some of these, see if I have some. Well, you can go to Hobby Lobby. Now these are the little bit bigger ones. Ugh. But you can go to Hobby Lobby. And then you buy these little, I call them little wooden nickels, is what they are. But I tell you what, Hobby Lobby, excuse me, I, I don't mean to, Hobby Lobby is a little bit expensive on these things. You can actually buy them through Amazon for a lot cheaper and stuff like that. Uh, people that make them. And these things are perfect for your figure. Now they make them smaller than this too. But you take this figure and you put him like this and then put a little... What we're going to do, we're going to put a little log. I'm going to cut a little branch and put it right there in other words to kind of indicate it's what he's doing. And they fit good on there. These are nice little uh, uh, and that's and they they work perfect for stands for for miniatures especially they they uh, they work perfect for little figures and like I say they make them smaller than that so and I use a lot of those let me show you in fact our last figure I'm just out of them right now. Our last figure, this is the smaller one that they're on. And they're just perfect for little, you know, for the stand for a small figure. Uh, and they make other things too, but uh, I think this is perfect for our stuff. And uh, so, anyway, I'll let this dry. I'll run the red over it, then the uh, brown, and uh, we'll have our little figure all finished and uh, ready to go. A little wood cutter. And like I said, I'm going to put a little log right there. Not a log, but it's going to look like a log. So, uh, this is our next little whittling figure. We, we're going to do a lot of different out of a block of wood because. I've got a lot of people messaging me for this, really do, and I know a lot of people don't have band saws. I understand all that. I really do, and I, I, you know, to cut out everything, I cut out most all my figures, but uh, we'll just do a bunch of them out of a block of wood. Show you how to do it, and uh, uh, we'll create some figures out of it. Now, like I said, you're limited when you have just the uh, you have just the uh, the block of wood, uh, like you can't really put put the hands way out or anything like that. In other words, but. You
But you notice you can do this, you can. But what you also have to do, I say, is create these little things different. And like I told you, I drilled a hole here, drilled a hole at the bottom, and stuck that together to make it look like he's holding the uh, uh, the axe. So there's different uh, ways you can do it. Well, when you're, an you're, you're dealing with a, a figure that's very small like that, in other words, I've done two-inch figures, but I, I'll be honest with you, to teach two-inch figures, a person really almost has to be sitting there watching you because they're so small, you really can't see what the person's doing with them. So, all right, well, God bless you now, and uh, I'll show you the finished product. God bless.